Hello there Libras, welcome to your mid-September 2017 tarot reading. So, first of all, I know this sounds a little bit strange, but um, they mentioned posture. So for those of you who have children, um, be careful about their posture. So I, you know how sometimes when you slouch, it can create a lot of pressure on your rib cage and on your intestinal, you know, digestive organs. So um, if they have ailments, if they have, you know, afflictions in that area, I feel like correcting their posture might really help tremendously with that. And then likewise, um, you want to be very mindful of your posture, especially for those of you who might be a little bit more on the clumsy end. If you're not really aware of your surrounding and you're probably not going to be aware of your body and how forces are exerted on your body. So correcting your posture, I feel it's a really good first step for you to be able to sit straight, be able to see straight and be able to be a lot more aware of your surroundings. So you're not bumping into things, you're not dropping things or knocking things over. Okay. So that is a weird message. I've never gotten that before, but it's coming through here in your reading. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Um, the other thing I'm feeling is, um, it, it feels to me like this is a little bit of a heavy reading because a lot of these things are very subconscious. Okay. Um, it seems to me like many of you have been so anxious about exerting your independence, about being, um, about getting out into the world, you know, working, living your life and not wanting to, uh, obey or cater to other people's demands or expectations. So I feel like you have spent your life, you know, trying to debunk or dismantle other people's expectations of you. You wanted to be different. You wanted to be on your own. You wanted to be self-sufficient and independent. In the process of getting out into the world, you realize that, you know, those rose-colored glasses started to come off. You realize that life is a little bit hard. I was not prepared for this. I thought everything was going to be all rainbow and lollipops. And I feel like your expectations were severely overturned. And at the same time, while you were dealing with all of these challenges, it seems to me there were always, you know, people or safety nets that you could have always relied on. People that you could call on when things got too rough and then, you know, they can give you financial or emotional support. And then for others of you, it's almost like, um, it, it's almost like l living your life as an independent person, but always having a home base to come back to. So you always had that support. You always had that stability. You know, if things get too rough, you can retreat, you can go back to somewhere. And f so what I feel is like the last two months has been very topsy turvy for you guys financially. I feel like for many of you, it's like going on job interviews and not getting that call, by, call back. And in the past, it wasn't that hard. And all of a sudden, you feel like you have to push twice as hard to get things to go your way. And then for others of you, it's like that support system you have always counted on. For whatever reason, that person might be on vacation. They may be, might be out of the picture temporarily, but they're not there. And so... This sense of independence, on the one hand, you really value it. But on the other hand, it's like, how truly independent have you been? Have you relied on other people or have you been self-sufficient the whole time? I feel like for those of you who have been completely, thoroughly self-sufficient, you're doing well. You're taking care of yourself. You're being a lot more practical and pragmatic when it comes to your approach to life. Saving up for a rainy day, not, not having to call on other people and really understanding that. Yes, I can call on them, but I want to take care of this on my own or I don't want to burden them with my obligations. And because, you know, they have their own things that they're taking care of. So for those of you who have come to realize that concept of, you know, where do I end and where do others begin? I feel like you're doing very, very well for others who have not understood that concept, who have relied on other people and who have, you know, always had somebody or a safety net or a person to always step in and intervene to fight your battles for you and especially to come to whenever life got too tough. I feel like you're starting to, the, that support is starting to drift away. And so you're going to need to manage things on your own. Um, I feel for many of you, it is so important that you guys maintain your friendships. Okay, so this is cultivating friendships because what's showing up here in your 12th house and the 12th house are things that are hidden. Um, I feel like for many of you, 
you care about people, but the way that you interact with them, it, it, it shows a lot of opposition. It shows a very strong intellectual connection you have with people rather than a true emotional connection. So forming these emotional connections and maintaining these friendships will be really good for you. It's good practice for all of your subsequent relationships as well. When we're finally able to open up emotionally and not just, you know, talking about things on a very uh, intellectual or on a very superficial level, but really getting to the nitty gritty details and having an open, honest, emotional um, conversation with somebody. I feel like that has been really missing and vacant from all of your interactions with people. And so it's really important to start to foster these, these things and nurture these things, okay? And the important thing is having a strong sense of being able to express yourself, being able to process and work through your feelings, being able to identify what it is that you're feeling and why you're feeling this way. I feel like that's really important because we can't really relate to other people until we understand ourselves. And so I feel like the reading is devoid of that. It, it doesn't indicate to me. It, it shows me like you're kind of bouncing around. It's like one foot out the door, wanting that independence, but at the same time wanting to, you know, be taken care of. And so it's, it's almost like for, for some of you clinging onto a relationship because it's safe. But knowing that you're not in love with that person and not wanting to let them go because you want the safety and the security of that relationship. And I also feel it's playing out in your work sector as well. Wanting a job because, you know, you feel like, oh, I know the ins and out of this job and I can do it with my eyes closed. And because of that, you feel good about the work that you do because every day is the same. But at the same time, are you still growing? Are you still developing new skills or are you maxed out? So this sense of comfort, you know, doing things, clinging on to things, staying in situations because it's comfortable versus venturing out and truly activating, you know, that air sign quality of independence, of expansiveness. I feel like that's where the the inner struggle is really coming out for, for many of you. Because on the one hand, you know, you want that independence. You want to prove to others that you can do it. But I feel like where is the part where you want to prove to yourself that you can do it, that you can take care of yourself, that you can be self-sufficient, that you're strong enough and smart enough to do all of these things on your own. It's like wanting to prove to other people, but you're kind of proving to the wrong audience because I feel like this needs to be proven first to yourself and you need to be able to convince yourself, yes, I can do all of these things. And then rather than just, you know, trying to prove, actually do it and try to, you know, make yourself as self-sufficient and as, I guess, like... um just in the spirit of growth. Don't stay in a situation because it's comfortable. Stay in it because it nourishes you. And then at the same time, seek opportunities for you to allow yourself to grow. Okay. So I feel like finances is a little bit shaky for some of you. And I do feel as well, they're saying new work will be coming in. And I feel like for many of you, you're longing for an opportunity to have, you know, that financial stability so that you can branch out and be completely independent and that's fine but I feel like it is coming in for you and I'm also sensing work situations they will get better but I do feel it's important for you guys to know when I'm not growing anymore I'm not learning anything else so, so let me look at greener pastures let me find another job that can really challenge me and allow me to grow okay so I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys um I'll be back for the October reading, okay? And um, hopefully this energy will clear up and you have a better sense of direction as to, you know, how you need to move things along, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.